It seems like Jaguar Wright is still unraveling more details about Diddy, or as she refers to him, Honeycomb, with a focus on his relationships with his alleged mentors, Mr. Clive Davis and Ron Burkle. Allegations suggest that these individuals aided Diddy in covering up various illicit activities. Power. He loves the ability to manipulate and control people. Why? Most likely because he was victimized by his mentor who loved to control people. And his mentor was? Andre Well. Tell, tell us how was he was mentored by Clyde Davis. Rumor has it that in exchange for their assistance, Diddy engaged in certain favors for them. Jaguar Wright's revelations aren't entirely new. Whispers about Clive Davis and Ron Burkle's alleged involvement in Diddy's affairs have circulated before. It's believed that they helped Diddy establish bad boy records and shielded him from legal troubles. Additionally, there are shocking claims linking Diddy to Whitney Houston's and Michael Jackson's deaths, as well as allegations of a blackmail ring and other illicit activities. Despite initial skepticism towards Jaguar Wright's claims, it appears that many of her assertions are proving to be accurate. There's a plethora of information to dissect here, including connections between key figures in the industry, suspicious events surrounding Whitney Houston's passing, and even Diddy's purported ties to Michael Jackson's security team. The narrative suggests a tangled web of powerful individuals protecting each other's interests, potentially explaining why Diddy has seemingly evaded serious consequences for his alleged actions. Whether these allegations hold true or are merely speculative remains open to interpretation, but the intricate connections between Clive Davis, Ron Burkle, and Diddy continue to fuel speculation and intrigue within the music industry. Furthermore, the narrative delves into the notion that Diddy's alleged sugar daddies, Clive Davis and Ron Burkle, played pivotal roles in his rise to prominence and subsequent protection from legal repercussions. Clive Davis, as the head of Arista Records, allegedly provided crucial support to Diddy during the inception of Bad Boy Records, potentially in exchange for undisclosed favors. The speculation surrounding Clive Davis extends to his association with Whitney Houston's tragic demise, with claims suggesting his involvement in covering up details surrounding her death. Similarly, Ron Burkle's involvement raises eyebrows due to his substantial financial investment in Diddy's clothing company, Sean John, and his acquisition of Michael Jackson's famed Neverland Ranch after the King of Pops passing. The connection between Ron Burkle and Diddy's purported activities prompts questions about the extent of his influence and whether it extends beyond financial support. Moreover, Jaguar Wright's revelations hint at a broader pattern of exploitation and manipulation within the music industry, with Diddy positioned at the center of it all. Allegations of sex trafficking, blackmail, and other nefarious activities paint a disturbing picture of the entertainment world's underbelly. The intersections between Diddy's alleged misdeeds, the untimely deaths of iconic figures like Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson, and the involvement of influential figures such as Clive Davis and Ron Burkle create a complex tapestry of intrigue and suspicion. While some may dismiss these claims as mere conspiracy theories, others view them as a compelling narrative that sheds light on the dark undercurrents of power and influence within the music industry. Ultimately, the ongoing scrutiny and speculation surrounding Diddy's alleged actions and his connections to powerful figures underscore the need for transparency and accountability within the entertainment sector. Whether these allegations lead to further investigations or legal consequences remains to be seen, but they undoubtedly fuel ongoing conversations about ethics, power dynamics, and responsibility within the realm of celebrity culture.